Wrestling is a presentation of the Big East Conference Television Network. Final game, the Seton Hall Pirates against the Pittsburgh Panthers. Big East Basketball is brought to you by Piedmont, serving more cities in the East than any other airline. By Chrysler Motors, the official car and truck of the Big East, and your local Chrysler Plymouth and Dodge dealer. And by Avis Rent-A-Car, the official rental car of the Big East Conference. And by the new Donnelly Directory of better yellow pages and much, much more. By Pittsburgh National Bank, the bank that's built on performance. By Eaton Park, where there's something special cooking. By your four greater Pittsburgh area sob dealers. And by Pittsburgh Brewing, celebrating 125 years of quantity, integrity, and tradition. Welcome, everybody, to Madison Square Garden in New York City, where we are about to begin a long day of basketball. Quarterfinal game number one about to come up. The Seton Hall Pirates are set to take on the Pittsburgh Panthers. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Gorman, along with Phil Raftery, and we are set for lots of hoop today as the Big East tournament gets underway. First game, as I said, Seton Hall in Pittsburgh. Let's take a look back, and we can, to the two games played earlier this year. First, the second game between the two. Pittsburgh was on a roll at the time, and they won by 14. Well, they were playing well. This is the, the only game all year where Seton Hall was run out of the building. But you have to understand how tough this pit team can be. They, they're not deep, but they all can contribute offensively. And Curtis Aiken was a factor indeed in this second game. You'll see him about to hit the three-pointer here from the corner. And there was the final score, a 95-81 to 81 win for Pittsburgh. Although if you go back a little bit further to game number one, that was a nail-biter, 87-85. Well, Seton Hall's had some good performances against the better teams in the league. St. John's, for example, of course, the two Georgetown losses. This was a typical Seton Hall game. Would hang tough. Unfortunately, instability at guard would get them in trouble at times. Yep, James Major had himself a good game in that first mm -hmm. one, and that's what helped the Hall hang in there. Again, it was a two-point game, 87-85, so anything could happen here this afternoon. A couple of players we want to talk about going in. Everybody knows how strong the inside game of Pittsburgh is. That means Mark Bryant has to have a good ball game. Well, I think P.J.'s looking for him to go inside, get the pit people in some foul problems. He has a tendency to drift outside when he doesn't get a shot, but he's a fine player. He's got good inside moves. He's got international experience and great strength. And when you talk about playing inside, you've got to talk about Jerome Lane of Pittsburgh. Now well, that three-second lane belongs to Jerome, a terrific offensive rebounder, as we all know. He's the kind of a kid who analyzes shots, has great strength to position himself, and finish plays off. And as you can see, an enthusiastic player to boot. So, coming up here Seton Hall and Pittsburgh a long day of hoops and a great one from Madison Square Garden we'll have the starting lineup when we come back after these local messages Wiley Coyote's using the Donnelly directory again. It's a complete colorful yellow pages that's better and easier to use. Donnelly Directory with street maps, white pages, and entertainment guides. It's a better yellow pages. Saved again. The Donnelly Directory. It's the yellow pages and much, much more. The Alabama International Motor Speedway at Talladega. Three standard production SOPs. It's probably pretty unlikely you'll ever need a car that can go 132 miles per hour, day and night for 62,000 miles straight. But just in case you do, there's only one that's ever done it, the Saab 9000. For details and a test drive in the Saab 9000, visit one of your greater Pittsburgh area Saab dealers. You can feel it, feel the spirit. The spirit of ice capades. It's magic, excitement, explosive entertainment. Ice capades! 
share the feeling and the fun of this all-new Ice Capades. Spirits catch it on. Spirit of the Ice Capades. Ten spectacular performances at Pacific Arena, March 3rd through March 8th. Tickets at all choice seat outlets or charge by phone at 412-642-2067. Roll in the trucks because Channel 4's 530 MASH is moving. MASH 4077 is definitely bugging out in three hours. Bugging out to a new time, weeknights at 11.30. Where's my tent, my clothes, my sneakers, my dirty magazine? But what about the 5 o'clock mash? I'm staying with you. So that means there are still two mashes on Channel 4. That's what makes America great. Mash at 5 and now at 11.30 on Channel 4, WTAE-TV. And welcome back once again, everybody, to Madison Square Garden in New York City, where this afternoon the two quarterfinal games, the first two quarterfinal games will be played. The Seton Hall Pirates to kick it off against the Pittsburgh Panthers. Pittsburgh coming in here 23 and 6 on the season. The Seton Hall Pirates 15 and 12 and 4 and 12 in Biggie's play. Let's go to John Condon right now. For starting line.
1987 Big East Basketball Tournament about to get underway here at Madison Square Garden. Mike Orman along with Bill Raftery. Hope you're going to be with us throughout the afternoon. And the coaches are set to go in their respective sidelines. There is Paul Evans, the head coach of Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Panthers have never won a game in the Big East Basketball Tournament. Paul Evans hopes to snap that this afternoon. And down the other side will be P.J. Carlissimo of Seton Hall. And the Hall controls the tap. That's Martin Sally and John Morton. We'll set things up for Seton Hall. James Major down in the corner, number 10, is an outside threat. Ramos is posting up in the middle. 2-3 matchup, traditional this year. At Pitt, you'll see Seton Hall trying to get it inside. Only James Major has the green light beat. There is Major, number 10. John Morton, more of a playmaker, 23. Martin Sally, good spot on the baseline. He's found Bryant for the easy two. Excellent play. Against the zone, of course, a good roll by Bryant. Michael Goodson now to set up the offense for the Pittsburgh Panthers. Down in the corner, Demetrius Gore looking inside for Jerome Lane. Charles Smith out high. Gore forces one up, and we're going to have a foul. It's going to be on Rod Brooklyn over the back. Pressure now by Pittsburgh. Chris Brooklyn, late in the year, getting the starting assignment. And Curtis Aiken after that concussion against Georgetown. Not starting. Dimitri Score, the second guard. John Morton, a little bit of pressure, finds Major on a wing. Again, James Major, number 10, will shoot from the outside. One of the better three-point shooters in the Big East. Now, Ramos doesn't look at home out there, but he's not a bad passer high-low. Big kid, I'll tell you that. Number 25, Ramon Ramos. Checks in at about 6'9", about 240. All banged up, too, Mike. Sally in traffic forces one up. Loose underneath, and here comes Jerome Lane. Lane handles the ball very well in the open floor. And Demetrius Gore had a foot on the baseline. You're right, though, about Lane. I mean, he's as good a passer on the break as Pitt has. Doesn't make many mistakes. Goes and gets it off the boards, then takes it out and leads the break. Not a bad combination, but Chris Smith helps him defensively, right? Gets the rebounds and kicks it to him occasionally. Lane keeping touch with Major down in the corner. Now Sally on the other side looking inside for Bryant. He's battling. Ramos came top of the key and laid it in. It was a nice play. They were paying so much attention to Mark Bryant. Ramos found the hole. And Seton Hall off quickly, which is exactly what P.J. Carlissimo wants. I don't think they can afford to get in the hole mentally. Man to man by the hole. They do a lot of matching. Bryant's able to get a foul down there. He's banging Smith. Gore with the up fake, then dumps it low, and Lane's got the easy two. Good luck by Gore. Unselfish. Pittsburgh on the board. Took them a while, better than two minutes. Problem Seton Hall has had is impatience, Mike. Thus far, playing very nicely. Bryant will take the turnaround and knock it down. Mark Bryant, a quick two for two in this ball game. What P.J.'s done is overloaded on one side, and they can't match up properly. Smith coming out to take the pass. Lean posting up where he wants it. Won't go down. Tipped away by Ramos, but picked off by Goodson. You see the hand by Lane Curley, <laughs> making sure the defense was in the right place. And then Lane battling with Bryant for post position, but they can't get it in there. Brooklyn looking to make the entry pass in the corner, and Goodson sets up all over them. Here's the high-low. Lane to Smith. They have a back cut in Brooklyn. Brooklyn fires away. A rebound to Ramos. Nice job to box out there. And Morton's on the break. Got a couple of Hall players with him. John Morton. Good look for Sally. And we got a foul. No, we got a travel. Martin Sally taking the skip step underneath. He did hop Jimmy Higgins right there. That's the kind of break PJ would like. A good shot at the end of it. And the only one that can take the flyer is Major. Curtis Aiken, Curtis Aiken is going to check into the ball game. Curtis had a rough last half of the season as he suffered a concussion down at Georgetown. And has not started since then. Aiken, a real key to this club, especially early in the year. Curtis was really filling it up. A legendary scorer in high school. Morton, the steal at half court. Takes it all the way. The left hand goes down. Heads up play. Anticipated in the middle of the pressure. And again, Morton's got ability, Mike. Unfortunately, at times, his judgment hasn't been good. 
Anticipation the key. Seton Hall coming with the full court pressure now. 16-20 to play first half, and the Hall out quickly, 8-2. 2-1-2 that time. Chris Morton with a good read. Aiken from the corner. Everything but the ball. <laughs> Seton Hall had checked out, forgot the ball. James Major takes the pull up. Lane the big rebound. Here's Aiken on the break as the game starts to open up a bit. Did you notice the defense collapsed? Do that against Providence, you'll pay for it. Smith is sent back at him by Mark Bryant. No foul called. Morton on the break. Finds Major in the corner. Got it for three. Heck of a start for the Hall. Paul Evans upset. The defense is not reacting. He's looking for a timeout right now. He's standing up. He'll get the TV timeout on the next dead ball, but he's going to be down nine unless Pittsburgh converts this trip. I don't blame him for changing his mind. Do you? On the timeout? On the timeout. Yeah, no. He took it away. He looked up at the clock. Demetrius Gore takes the run of baseline and hit. No, he's got a club at this point of year that is our season. They're able to withstand charges. And why not wait? Save it for later. James Major kicks it out to Sally. Rebound goal. Pitt looking to run at every opportunity here. Goodson will set him up in the half-court offense. Goodson, a sophomore guard out of New Jersey. Aiken with the ball. Oh, Lane. <laughs> Did he check? Gore missing. There's Lane on the offensive board. And Mark Bryant is going to pick up the foul in the rebounding action. We've got a timeout on the floor. 14-49 left to play here. Seton Hall out quickly, 11-4. It took mankind centuries to invent an airplane that works. Now, at long last, mankind has invented an airline that works. Piedmont, rated among the highest in service and lowest in complaints of any major airline. Piedmont, a model of how good an airline can be. We made it! Our first real deal! Now if we can just make our flight. You're hot, you're hot. How good a deal did we get on that car? When you're hot, you're hot. And a reminder, this copyrighted telecast is produced by authority of the Big East Conference and is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Big East Conference is prohibited. And the hall is off and running here, Bill. 11 to 4. Mark Bryant, we said he'd be a key. This is a nice play. Sure, he ignites this team with this play. It's an easy dunk for Charles Smith. Nice and clean. That was, and, and Bryant's been banging physically, and much to the chagrin of Paul Evans, not the kind of start he wanted. Now you see the field goal percentages. The Hall again, 6 of 8. Pittsburgh just 2 of 8. So shots taken are even. See what Pittsburgh does off this timeout that came because of the TV timeout, but not a moment too soon for Paul Evans, and Goodson travels top of the key. It's, it's like an NCAA tournament, Mike, right now. Everybody trying to make sure that you do the right thing. We've seen a couple of walks that normally wouldn't happen. Pittsburgh now will come with a little pressure of their own. John Morton waving people away, gets doubled and kicks it over. Now Major calling out the half-court play. Tempo, Seton Hall's favor, I think. They're using judgment on a break, getting it inside. Using a lot of time, too, Mike. Yes, they are. One of the criticisms, I would say, of the Hall this year has been a tendency not to be patient. They certainly haven't shown that today. Stepping in the three-second lane, looking for him. Down to nine. James Major kicks it back out. Morton's at five on the shot clock. And I think he walked with it again, that little jump step. That's right. He actually hopped. He, he had drawn the foul, but jumped into it. Now, that's 
We're talking about Mark Jackson. We'll talk about him later. That's where he's stuck. With five left on the clock, he ends up getting a basket. You talk about him at halftime. I don't know how many games you and I did this year where he hit that three-pointer mm -hmm. with about three on the shot clock. Good hedge there by Ramos. Laying out high this time. Now he and Smith will reverse, and Smith comes to the free throw line. George trying to take Major low, but they're not paying any attention. Charles Smith trying to get involved, takes a runner, and draws a foul on the way through. John Morton, I believe, yes, is going to pick it up. Dimitri has scored down oh low, God, sort of God. gotten away of the big guys, Charles Smith. This is that high-low sequence that they started against Boston College early in the year. What's tough for Ramos, he's used to bulking and bodying up down low, and Charles with the quickness. Relatively foul free half so far with 13.29 still to go first half. And you see the numbers on Charles Smith, the All-American candidate. They're going to have problems in the offseason trying to decide who to bally who. Here you got Jerome Lane and Charles. Mm -hmm. Dimitri scored early this year. They were giving him some All-American mention. Well, that's the kind of problem you want, right? <laughs> I used to have the problem of whether I was going to be invited back. Pressure by Pitt now. Ooh, whoa. That could be a violation. You yes. don't have to touch anybody. It was a little severe by John Morton. Beaten Hall by five. Martin Sally had a thought. Oh. It inside nicely to Bryant. And that's the same play you noted before when Ramos did it. This time Bryant was high and made the cut. Beaten Hall having a little or no trouble getting that ball in the paint. Demetrius for over major. Uh, he probably said, look, I got this little guy. Get it down to me. He finally paid attention. Four at 6'6", six, six, and major just six feet. Major, of course, does most of his damage outside. Sally looks and finds Major top of the key. Well, they've done a nice job inside, you know. Look at the high-low sets. Tough matchup. You see Aiken pointing out a man. A confusing for Pitt. Now Morton should step in. Look how far out he is. Oh, this is going to be on Morton. Unfortunately, it was unnecessary. Yep completely unnecessary. Aiken with some theatrics, but John shouldn't have gotten involved in that. Second foul on John Morton, and that's going to bring Gerald Green off the Seton Hall bench. Green, a six-foot sophomore. Gerald Green, number 15, is in for the Pirates. TJ cannot be happy with that foul. No, wasted trip. Yep. In Pittsburgh, who got themselves off to a very rocky start here can get back to within three if they oh. convert Smith the strong move and an offensive oh. foul that's what the official outside had Higgins had one and Kinsey had the other gonna be a jump ball I think they gotta stick to it it's Pitt's basketball because they'll both let's see what they do with this maybe Higgins is deferring usually yep they got the double they got the double. Let's see which of the officials in our minds, well, tough to see with that angle, step in underneath. There's a double foul. The Pittsburgh foul is by number 32, Charles Smith. Charles Smith picks up the and offensive the foul. foul is by number 13, Martin Sally. And Martin Sally picks up the defensive foul. So it'll stay Pittsburgh ball. Couple more extras on the score sheet. That's about all. Gets him a little closer to the limit. Pittsburgh. Right, let's see if we can spot. Sally's there. down below. Pittsburgh's ball. Uh, I'll tell you, I think it may have been a defensive. Just that step as Charles left the floor. But the change of possession kept it Pitt's ball. And Pittsburgh couldn't convert. The rebound pulled down quickly by the hall. Bryant finds Sally. Looking inside for Ramos. Joe Green with the ball. Not offensive-minded. So you might see even more patience by seeing all. He'll penetrate a little. Good passer. Well, they're getting it wherever they want. Ramos couldn't get it to go down after he got the great position, and now Martin Sally's going to be called with the foul over the back. Ramos was looking for the foul, too. Seton Hall exploiting that zone. 13-8, Seton Hall still holding on. They're up by five. We'll be back after these local messages. Tom, Amy called. Yeah? They're going to buy a house. Oh. 
I think they need a little help with their down payment. Guess I'll be uh, going to the bank tomorrow. Isn't that what parents are for? But now maybe she'll understand why we've always tried to save so much. The willingness to work a little harder, that's pride in performance. Right. Some people build their lives on it. Yeah. We built a bank on it. Pittsburgh National. The Alabama International Motor Speedway at Talladega. Three standard production SOPs. It's probably pretty unlikely you'll ever need a car that can go 132 miles per hour, day and night, for 62,000 miles straight. But just in case you do, there's only one that's ever done it. The Saab 9000. For details and a test drive in the Saab 9000, visit one of your greater Pittsburgh area Saab dealers. And welcome back to Madison Square Garden, everybody. Mike Gorman along with Bill Raftery. First quarter final game underway, 11.41 to go here first half. And Seton Hall surprisingly out on top by five. They've got the ball inside whenever they want it. You see the slide down. Bryant able to finish it off. Mark but Bryant with six points to lead the way. I'm impressed the way the Hall has handled the matchup. Getting it in tight. Good shots, good judgment. Pittsburgh shooting just three of ten here in the early going. The Hall six of ten. DJ with Mike Brown there, of course, Howie Rupert, a couple of his assistants. To his mind... You know them all, Coach. Well, he gets it all. You get all your information from the assistants. The head guys don't know what's going on. That's true. You do, don't you? You see Pitt's advantage in the series here, but again, the Pittsburgh Panthers have never won a game in the Big East Tournament. 2-1-2 pressure. Mike Goodson looking to set things up outside with his club down here early. Jerome Lane for two. That's that ability to release with either hand. And one thing Evans has done, he's gotten them close to the box. 11-15, Major answers very quickly on the other end. Five points now for Jerome, or James Major rather, and it's 15-10, the hall by five. Seton Hall has been on top the entire game. Demetrius Gore. Gerald Green fell asleep. The matchup there. Couldn't get over to play Demetrius Gore. Gore with six points to lead the Pittsburgh Panthers so far in this one. Major had a thought in the corner, but Smith was out there quickly. James is going to have a trouble getting away. Ramos blocked by Charles Smith, who came over. Pretty good reaction from the wing. There's Lane beating everybody down. Jerome, nice move with the left hand. And the spurt now. Pitt trying to get it going with the shot block and running down the floor quickly. Look Tips at this. Off Jerome Lane, and Lane is off to the races, but we have got a foul in the backcourt. I don't know if they gave that to Green or Major. P.J. wants the timeout now because right now, Pitt's got momentum. They certainly have 10.26 left to play here for a half. The Hall's big lead is down to one, and we'll be back after these local messages. Pontiac gives you more buying power than ever. 3.9% financing. Four of the $1,200 cash back. Now, at your Greater Pittsburgh Pontiac dealers, 3.9% GMAC financing. Not just on a few models, but on every hot new Pontiac in stock. Bonneville's Pontiac 6000s, Grand Ant, Sunbirds, everything. Or get cash back at the $1,200 cash back when you buy or lease. Plus the power of GM's new 660 protection. See your Greater Pittsburgh Pontiac dealers now. It's a comfortable feeling, this feeling is good. A nice, secure feeling to be understood. Year after year, Nationwide Life Insurance gives blanket protection for you and those you love. And that's a good feeling. A warm, special feeling, a feeling of pride. A feeling of knowing that you're on my side. And welcome back once again, everybody, to Madison Square Garden as we look at the comparison of the two clubs, the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Seton Hall Pirates. And you see that rebound margin is the most outstanding graphic there. And you can see why. Obviously, with Jerome Wade leading the country, Charles Smith reacting well to being placed at center from October 15th on. And Paul Evans' club has gone on a little bit of a 12-4 run here the last four and a half minutes to get themselves back in this after the Hall really jumped out quickly. 
It's Pittsburgh ball and a chance for the Panthers to get their first lead of the afternoon. 1-3-1. One, one. Green in the back could be a problem matchup as well as rebounding, Mike. Demetrius Gore has had a hot hand, not this time, and Ramos clears the rebound. Bad pass. Certainly was. Gore, the runner. No. Green now with the miss. Ramos made up for it. Gerald Green thinking offensively. Basket's going to count, but he's going to pick up the offensive foul after the bucket. A step deep, but great penetration by the guard. And this is what he does well. I thought he was going to dish to the corner. Once you leave your feet, though, you are in trouble, General. Everybody steps in. Franz Volsi has checked into the game to find freshman for Seton Hall, getting his first minutes here in the Big East Basketball Tournament. Jerome Lane is going to be at the line. Seton Hall now over the limit. Volsi has great ability, Mike. Unfortunately, as a freshman, he's shown a tendency to get in foul trouble and commit some silly fouls, but he's got good instincts. Is a prospect. Demetrius Gore tipping that miss by Jerome Lane out of bounds. It'll be Seton Hall ball. Ten minutes straight up now to go here. First half. Pittsburgh has never led in the game. Still one, two, two. Let's change on the back to two, three. James Major rebound off to Gore quickly on the break to Aiken. Major is back. Aiken takes it to him and picks up the foul. See, Curtis asserted himself there. He didn't really have the angle, but leaned in towards the defense just to initiate contact. Followed by James Major. That's his first personal foul. And James Major, that is number one. Curtis Aiken, line shooting two. Aiken for two. Curtis yet to score in the game. Comes in averaging ten a game. He's really calmed down as a player, though. He was a legend coming out of high school, wasn't he? 40 points a game. Yeah. Originally signed at Kansas and opted for Pittsburgh. Great talent. All-American at Bennett High School, home gave, of. Gave a lot of credibility to the Pittsburgh program, too. Yep. Maybe the biggest reputation-wise high school player they had ever recruited. But Bob Lanier was a Bennett High. Right? Right. Not a bad player. He had the big shoes, right? Curtis tried to fill them. Green in trouble again in the air. Sally, a nice recovery, but Goodson coming up with the ball. Got Lane with him on the break, along with Aiken. Gore. Nice look. Jerome. Send it in, Jerome. Again, Pittsburgh outnumbering Seton Hall. They're not balancing the floor, not recovering. And Pittsburgh's first lead of the afternoon comes with 9.05 to play here first half. They're up by one. Pittsburgh bench now very much alive and in the game. Tipped away and out of bounds. John Morton is going to come back in. Gerald Green will go to the Seton Hall bench. Morton picked up two early fouls. Major looking to inbound. Inside, Volsey blocked by Charles Smith. Mark Bryant, though, is there. Loose ball picked off by John Morton. Here's the haul on a break. It's tipped away from behind by Aiken, but it'll stay Pirate basketball. Whistle underneath and a rebounding foul is going to go on Demetrius Gore. Gore, that was number one. Followed by Demetrius Gore. Well, Seton Hall's inside game is a factor. Uh, they've got good shots. Also, the tendency to foul is there because they're staying close to home. Morton looking and finding Sally outside. In again they go. Bolsey, the turnaround is short with it. Lane clears and looks for the outlet. Up quickly, Gore. Demetrius, a leaner too hard off the glass. There's no break here. Let's see how the hole handles it. Good job. Look for the secondary. Tough pass. You almost tapped in, though. But Bryant, right spot, right time. And Mark Bryant's having a big first half with 10. I'm impressed the way he's getting down the floor, Mike. Oh, 
Smith down low, gets the bucket and also gets a foul from Franz Bolsey. Step late. Charles has been open. Pitt has not looked to him, but Volsey comes into your picture just to step late. Of course, Bryant doing his job fronting, and when you front, you better get some help from the rear. And Ramos, number 25, in for Charles Smith on the line, shooting one. All right, so Charles Smith will step to the line, a chance to tie this up with 7.50 to go first half. Pitt coming into this ball game, a prohibitive favorite, but the Hall playing him tough here for the first 13 minutes. And there's Ramos with another rebound. Well, Lane showed some speed getting back. John Morton, Mark Bryant wants to go to the hoop. Oh, hook shot. They shaped up well, caught Charles Smith asleep. Pretty good inside move. Sure was. Every time Pittsburgh has made a run, Seton Hall has responded. Nice switch there by Sally with Morton. Demetrius Gore. Good check out by Bryant. Sure was. Well, you got to take Lane out. Mark Bryant has done a terrific job underneath so far in this game. John Morton is going to pull it out a little bit. Seton Hall will set up a play up by three as we crack the seven-minute mark first half. There's a man to the end play. Shape up. Morton couldn't get the handle out of bounds. It'll be Pittsburgh ball. Here comes Rod Brook and back into the game for Pittsburgh. And Demetrius Gore is going to sit down. Neither team has really gone too deep into their bench so far. Number two, which bodes well for Seton Hall, I think. They can't get into a talent contest, I don't think, with this club. Charles Smith, the post up, which he's been getting readily here when you turn that shoulder in. Good move by Brian. Easy call. Mark Bryan is having himself one heck of a game, isn't he? Sure is. Again, if he stays in that post area, he is tough. flashing across the free throw line in the hall being very patient taking 20 seconds off the shot clock already uh, the, the defense now is playing this signals game a little bit you know they're patient you make signals patient they're a tough team they occasionally up at themselves and get in trouble sally with seven on the shot clock gerald green traveled with it it's a second time i can taking it down into single figures and then turned it over. James Major back in and Green will go to the St. Paul bench. Chris, you have an experience at doing that too. It's a problem. You get down there near the five second, you panic a little bit. Brooklyn and Major. Goodson outside, knocking down three. Hits you right there in a hurry, doesn't it? High to 23. Pittsburgh, you get the feeling just waiting to explode here, looking for something to stimulate them and get them into their game. See, don't try to lull them, Mike. Yes, they are doing a very good yes, job. They are. Very good job. I'm impressed how they've gotten it in deep. A lot of cuts. Major knocking three down on the other end. He's the only one with the green light. He's done it twice. He's got himself eight points. He and Bryant have combined for 20. Good job uh, by Smith. Smith won't go down, but he draws a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Mark Bryant, and if it is, that'll be number two. Charles backed him right into the three-second area where you're dead. That's his second personal foul. Here's a look at Mark. 6'9", junior. Everybody on this Seton Hall club will be back next year. Not often you can say that about a college basketball team, but there are no seniors on this team. And if he gets sounder guard play, He'll step up a notch in this league. You might look for a change while well, he's taking Brian out with Volsi. I thought PJ might change defense as if he was going to leave Brian in. All right, a lot of pressure now on the freshman Volsi because Brian has been a real force down inside. Still 5-18 to play here first half. See if Pittsburgh will look offensively to punch everything in. Six points now for Charles Smith, four of them at the free throw line. Mike, it's amazing when you think high school, county, and state tournaments 
into a Big East tournament. Mulsey, one of the freshmen in the tournament. Some change. James Major. Oh, is he? I thought that was it. I did too. Oh, he is on fire. Got to get out on him. I have get a chance to grab the lead back if they convert this trip. Mulsey Both going to see him yeah. inside. And Aiken. Smith and Aiken got a little confused. Yeah, he was looking and he ended up walking. You have to mix that up, though, as a coach, front to front the guy sometimes, get behind him, clock on him. I, I think with Smith, I would like to front him. I mean, he's pretty good. He's got quick moves, but some people do like to change it. You don't get weak side help when you front, though, you're dead. James Major, the pull-up for two. Over Charles Smith. And Major, the second Hall of player in double figures. Good team. Didn't respect him. I guess only two. Yep. The lead is one as John Morton streaks into the forecourt and threw it away. Never got control of the dribble. Never did his right. John's been struggling of late. He's too talented to play this way. Again, hit the ball and a chance for the lead. Aiken, left open. In and out, not falling for Curtis. Brooklyn just kind of tapped it, then nobody went after him. Put a little bit of standing around, though. That was a great look by Charles Smith, that diagonal pass. You're right, everybody's still looking for the other guy to do some damage. Knocked away by Jerome Lane, out of bounds, and we're going to have a timeout. So there's three minutes, 53 seconds left to play here. Quarterfinals game number one from Madison Square Garden. The Hall is up by one. At Piedmont Airlines, when we serve you a beverage and coach, we do something no other major airline does. We leave you the whole can, something we've been doing for years. It's a minor detail, to be sure. But minor details Here like this explain why frequent flyers have ranked our service among the best of any major airline. So fly Piedmont. Oh, miss, you forgot this. You'll find our attitude oh, no. most refreshing. Piedmont, a model of how good an airline can be. Everyone gets one. This one of them Japanese imports. Hi, Coach Premier. Mitsubishi built Coach Premier. It's fun to drive. Oh, Tomashina. Has the boost of optional turbo. <laughs> it's luxurious. <laughs> and imported only for Chrysler Plymouth and Dodge dealers. Colt. Sayonara. It's all the Japanese you need to know. Is that Japanese? It's Tokyo in Japan. Huh? Get Bill Raftery and I will be selecting the Plymouth player of the game at the conclusion of this quarterfinal game and during every game televised by the Big East Conference Television Network. This year, the Plymouth player of the game has been selected as part of the Chrysler Corporation sponsorship of Big East basketball. And a you couple of players on the hall right now in the lead for that one. You haven't given me a chance to vote all year. Well, <laughs> the power of the play-by-play. -play. That's right. But you're right, Seton Hall, Bryant in particular, I think has played well. and. Pitts fans trying to get jazzed up. Seton Hall, they're claiming it took a long time. Now they're saying it's their basketball. No, it was Seton Hall's ball. Paul Evans trying to pull a smoothie. Look at the smile. He thinks he's playing Army. <laughs> Pretty clever play. Any edge you can get, right? Oh, why not? Ramos has some size inside, won't go from long range. Volsey tips it out of bounds, but they say no. Lane had a piece of it over the back. Now he got up. I know Lane was behind him, but Volsey showed you his elevation. Ron Volsey, a very highly sought out the high school player last year. He's number 30 in the blue. Not a good passer from what I've seen. There's some of the more freshman passes. Inside, Ramos too strong with the turnaround, and Smith rips it off. Here comes Lane on the break. Just sort of shrug Volsey off, didn't he? Jerome to the hoop, won't go. The tap doesn't get down, and the rebound to Volsey. Bad pass. Aiken, good the anticipation as he came up with the steal. That's the kind of thing Volsey has to be careful of. Lane out high this time. Brooklyn really should be able to do some damage with Major. And a traveling violation on Mike Goodson. Dragging the foot at the top of the key. 
Pittsburgh's having a real hard time getting over this hump here, though. I don't know how many times they've got to within one, and then made a mistake, right? yeah, made a mistake. You know, it's not like they're taking a bad shot. It's just they make a mistake. Major thought about the three. Now, Lane's not working hard on defense now. They might be able to get Major a shot on his side or the ball in the low post. So he's not coming out too much. He sure isn't. Not on Bolte, anyway. If he doesn't do that on a major, he'll pay for it. He sure will. They don't have the inside threat without Bryant. And his major hitting for three. 13 for James Major. Uh, James, when he shoots the ball, see the ball is a factor. Occasionally, he'll have one of those droughts, but he can make those. Major and Bryant have combined for 25 of the 31 points. Smith, too hard off the glass. Here comes Morton. He's got Major with him on the break. I don't know what John Morton's doing. He's trying to do too much now. In the middle of the floor. If he didn't give it to Major earlier, he should have fan dribbled. Here he gets a little out of sorts. See the fake with the one hand? He's trying to do everything now in his arsenal. Third person foul. The arsenal was empty that time he went to. It sure was. And again, I can't reiterate enough. He has talent struggling right now. Nice touch there. If you caught it by P.J. Carlissimo, went over and patted him on the back. There you see. You see the Pirates with 11 turnovers, but they're up by four. Goodson stepping to the free throw line on the offensive foul. Two minutes to play here first half. I know Paul Evans will ream his club. Oh, I'd like to be a fly on the locker room wall for that one. I think PJ has done a marvelous job preparing him for this yes, game. Yes, he has. And I, I think it's a little bit of both. They've lulled pit to sleep and good execution by the Hall. It has really spread their scoring around. Six for Smith, eight for Lane, six for Gore, seven for Goodson. Ooh. Again, nobody going after the ball. Just right. kind of floats out there in space. Volsi throw one up for grabs, too. Yeah, it's like a boxing match. They're not really going after one another. It's sort of a feel right now. Almost a 1-2-2 two, two look. Again, maybe the most impressive thing, the Hall has shown excellent patience. Major says he wants the ball. They're down to nine on the shot clock. Major's trying to get through to the corner. What a look. Volsey lost it in the middle. Sally, good hustle, but nice the 24, 45 seconds out of the <laughs> shot clock. Too many Celtic games. That's right. <laughs> One of those shot clocks just went off. How often have we seen that ball? I, I can't remember yeah. one. Can you all year? No, 45? That's a, good, that's a good point. That's the third time that I can remember, though, that Seton Hall has taken it down that low and then not even got a shot off. An experience. Uh, turnovers or first time it's actually run out on. Good help by Ramos. Jerome Lane uses the left hand nicely. Lane in double figures with 10 and we're tied at 31. Seton Hall front did a good job and just better execution by the offense. James Major, good move, won't fall down for him though. Loose underneath, Martin Sally. Good shot by Martin Sally. Good delay, too. He knew Charles Smith was lying in wait. Woodson kicking it inside Smith. That's a nice pass, that diagonal. Jerome Lane, look at that move. Look at him. Look at the tap. Misses just so he can go after it again. A oh. bad play on the inbounds. Ramos, the green. And Pitt will look for the final shot here of the first half and a chance to take the lead to the locker room. Smith goes to the bucket. The foul is going to be on Volsey with six seconds on the clock. Volsey not about to allow that one to get up there, was no, he? No, he, he shouldn't have reached down, though. Franz had position. That's his second person. Good spreading of the floor by Pitt, then. It opened up the hole inside. You'll see Volsey just a step late. He should have been up with that left hand. Of course, the long pass now. He's caught. If he doesn't reach down, he may have gotten a lot of ball, but underneath. So Charles Smith will be at the line. Paul Evans getting ready to take his club down to the locker room. Seven points for Charles Smith, who has spent a lot of time on this free throw line. Tico Cooper is going to come in, I believe, for Smith. He's got the two. Yep. Nice move. It sure is. Heads up. 
Because I'd be concerned about Jerome Lane on this offensive rebound if there is a miss. Smith does the job hitting both at the line. He has eight. And Tico Cooper will come in for this final six seconds. Alert bench. Recognizing the two. If there's any justice here, the Hall ought to get out of this half, at least with a tie. They played so well. Gerald Green lets it fly. Major for three, and the Hall's got a lead. Now, you didn't get your tie, but some justice for Seton Hall. 16 first half points for James Major, and Seton Hall is up by one at the half. Quick dribbling by Gerald Green, pushing the ball up the floor. Set this up in time, and Tico Cooper did a great job getting out, but now by the Major. By uh, James Major, 36 for Seton Hall, 35 for Pittsburgh. We're at halftime here at Madison Square Garden in New York. Nine of our student athletes competed in the Olympics. Six of our baseball teams have qualified for postseason play. We've had over 100 All-Americans in men's and women's track and field. We had the NCAA soccer champion in 1981. We've sent a women's basketball team to the NCAAs the past four years. We're a lot more than just men's basketball. We're the Big East Conference. You got it. Welcome back to Madison Square Garden, everybody. The beginning of a long day of basketball here, and the Seton Hall Pirates have themselves a surprise halftime lead, 36-35 over Pittsburgh. And, you know, you got to say, Bill, the Hall deserved the lead at halftime. Well, tempo, I think they've used the clock wisely. They've run when it's shown itself, and they've gotten the ball inside. And, yes, you're right on it. I think they outplayed Pitt, and uh, Pitt out here early. I think a little reaming went on. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Would be interesting to be in that locker room. Let's take a look at some stats. First, the turnover result and you can see Seton Hall had 11 turnovers at halftime of the second regular season meeting and they trailed badly in that game by 13. The 13 turnovers really haven't hurt that much this afternoon. Now just some in the open floor particularly John Moore not good basketball if he could get turned on Seton Hall would be in good shape. All right let's take a look at some of the other numbers from the first half and again it was pretty much a Seton Hall first half as the Pirates came out passed the ball very very well. Let's take a look at some highlights first then we'll check out the numbers and again it was a strong first Staff. Mark Bryan played brilliantly in the beginning. While well, they looked inside, Charles Smith here being negated, but I thought Pitt did a good job when they went in deep. Of course, the advantage the other way, James Major, who can nail this, he's on his game right now. You see the toes curled in, saves you an inch or two, able to nail that one. And the turnabout is fair play here. Charles Smith coming from the weak side of the block. That's the one you like. He had run all the way from the baseline after covering Major to get back inside, and Jerome Lane running the floor, beating the seat, the whole people down, and finishing it off. You almost think he's lefty. Yes, you just indeed you do. Mark Bryant, though, again, leading scorer in the game in that first half, or he had 12 points. James Major was leader with 16. This is a pro move right well, here. This is part of that inside game that has made them so tough. And, of course, late, another three by the little guy who's hot. And, of course, the fist, look at the Pittsburgh bench. They thought he was out of bounds. That's at the half. And, as you noted, they made have deserved that. They got to play the same way the second half. Yeah, and a great stat Ray Perry just handed me. Pitt had two fouls to waste at the end of the half, and I'm sure Paul Evans is upset about yeah, that. Yeah, that's fact. a good point too. And of course, it was late. You don't want to shoot and give him a four or foul and give him a four pointer too. Yeah, we are at halftime here. The Seton Hall Pirates surprising so far at Madison Square Garden. They are up 36-35, and we will be back. Out here, it's me alone against the course. But in the financial world, you need all the help you can get. You need the Payne Weber Army behind you. Even golf legends can use some financial backup. Payne Weber is ready to roll, putting all its resources at your command. We believe the quality of life just might depend on the quality of your financial services. Thank you, Payne Weber. Now that's the kind of army you want behind you. You can feel it. A fast start. Quick response and smooth performance. Running smooth and silent. Exxon, Exxon. Trying
Hi Exxon Extra Premium. Its high octane power formula with detergent additive XCL12 cleans fuel injectors, helps silence knocks, and keeps you running smooth. Running with Exxon. The Alabama International Motor Speedway at Talladega. Three standard production SOPs. It's probably pretty unlikely you'll ever need a car that can go 132 miles per hour, day and night, for 62,000 miles straight. But just in case you do, there's only one that's ever done it, the Saab 9000. For details and a test drive in the Saab 9000, visit one of your greater Pittsburgh area Saab dealers. Roll in the trucks because Channel 4's 530 MASH is moving. MASH 4077 is definitely bugging out in three hours. Bugging out to a new time, weeknights at 11.30. Where's my tent, my clothes, my sneakers, my dirty magazine? But what about the 5 o'clock MASH? I'm staying with you. So that means there are still two MASHes on Channel 4. That's what makes America great. MASH at 5 and now at 11.30 on Channel 4, WTAE-TV. The Big East Basketball Tournament quarterfinals are brought to you by Piedmont, serving more cities in the East than any other airline. By Chrysler Motors, the official car and truck of the Big East and your local Chrysler Plymouth and Dodge dealer. By Avis Rent-A-Car, the official rental car of the Big East Conference. And by the financial professionals at Payne Weber. by the new Donnelly Directory of better yellow pages and much, much more. By Pittsburgh National Bank, the bank that's built on performance. By Eaton Park, where there's something special cooking. By your four greater Pittsburgh area sub dealers. And by Pittsburgh Brewing, celebrating 125 years of quality, integrity, and tradition. Once again, to Madison Square Garden, everybody, the Big East Basketball Tournament, 1987 quarterfinal game number one. Halfway through, and the Seton Hall Pirates have themselves a one-point lead. There are the numbers for the first half. Great shooting by Seton Hall, 53%. How about that free throw? Yeah, that's there? impressive for Pitt. They can keep going to the line. That's kept them in the game. Rebounds in the Hall's favor, 18 to 14. That's a real eye-opener. And Pitt, as we noted, nails people off the glass. Turnovers have not hurt Seton Hall, even though they committed 13 of them. They took a little better care of the ball. They might be up by a half dozen or so. Instead, the lead is one. Individually, James Major had a big first half, 16 points. Mark Bryant had 12, and then four other players had two apiece. So I think the Hall needs a little more balance here in the Spread second it out half. A little, huh? You're right, Major was terrific. Chris Bryant has to stay out of foul trouble. John Morton in the game to start the second half at guard. There's Ramon Ramos. Puts it on the floor and hits. So Ramon doing his best to spread the scoring around a little bit more, and the Seton Hall lead goes to three. He's grown from early in the year. He's a factor. A pretty good touch for the size of him, and of course, a pretty good passer. Surprise, excuse me, Mike Major has scored. They haven't been able to get him in the game down there. It has only led once in this game, and that was by a point. Good day. Loose on the floor, out of bounds. Seton Hall is going to keep it. Jerome Lane going to the wood to try to pick that one off. You know, pit thinking instead of playing, Mike. It's the impression I get. Not loose and the confident team we're used to. Well, oh, he's going to be, oh, they got it on Smith. And a good call by Jim Howe because a lot of refs will not let the post defense have position. And Charles kept backing him down. That's his first and personal foul. And the Panthers have one. Number three, right? Number three is right. His third personal foul. Smith's third personal foul. John Condon seldom makes a mistake. No, and John fakes me out as I was about to say it. There. Ramos again, same spot. Front rims this one. Smith clears the rebound quickly to Gore. He's got Lane as a trailer. Gore takes it and lays it in. That was lazy defense. John Morton just reached in instead of moving the legs and taking away the dribble lane. Morton back quickly to the hall. 
Ramos out high again. He's been up there the entire second half. Now he goes down low. Steele out of milk. It's picked off by Sally. He lays it in. That's Marcus of Sally's game. He has a knack of being in the right place at the right time. I'll tell you right now, Paul Evans is getting the red neck. He's a little upset at his players. Just not reacting well. Jerome Lane in traffic, and Ramos is there to send it back at him. Again, not, not going up with abandon. The backboard helped out there, too, didn't it, Mike? Mark Bryant tries to line drive one in. Smith clears to Goodson. Hit looking to run. It's a three-on-three -three break. Turn around. Won't go from the glass. There's Lane keeping it alive. Takes a fall away. It's short. He is tough, though. Uh, he flipped it back without fouling. Just didn't convert. Seton Hall looking to go up by five. Or maybe six, the way Major has been shooting. A push through number four. And there's P.J.'s game plan. Ooh, that is a big foul. And Paul Evans had Tico Cooper up at the scorer's table. I'm not sure if he was going to come in for Smith. He is now. He was coming in for Lane because Paul Evans was mad at Lane. So Charles Smith, the All-American, eight points and four fouls, has to go to the bench with a long way to go in this 1740 second half. Uh, that may help Pitt now. That sounds dumb. It might get Lane to play a little bit. He may have to reach back and get in the game. James Major launches an air ball from the corner, and Demetrius Gore off to the races. Four. Good look. Good look, and Aiken got the layup. Four on one. Shouldn't happen. Pirates lead. Again, as well as Seton Hall has been playing, though, you look up at the scoreboard, they're only up one. Pitt hanging pretty tough without playing the Ray game. And there's a tip away, and Aiken coming up with the ball, and Sally's going to pick up the foul as he tripped him. And that is three on Martin Sally. All of a sudden, Pitt looks like they're more active. Maybe trying to respond to Charles Smith on the bench, saying, hey, let's pull together, let's get going. A lot of time to regroup in these tournaments. Losing, you go home. Winning, you play tomorrow. Cooper in traffic. It's not going up. Out of bounds. Pitt will get the ball back. Tico Cooper had no place to go. With Ramos. So Evans is up, but Ramos just held his ground. Hands straight up. Very difficult to convert and foul. And or foul. See where Pitt's going to go for their offense. Jerome Lane's trying to post up Martin Sally, which we think would be an advantage for Lane. Inside, Tico Cooper wants it. Short with the hook shot, and Bryant is there with the rebound. That was a high dribble, wasn't it? It was a high dribble, wasn't it? Mark Bryant hits outside. 14 now for Mark Bryant. First two in the second half. Curtis Aiken launches one. Doesn't get the bounce, and we've got a foul. He's going to go on Tico Cooper. Broken in, and Paul Evans lo really looking to get something organized on the offensive end. They're struggling. Here's a look at Rod Brookham, the freshman who has performed so well for this Pittsburgh club. Paul Evans, John Calipari over there on the Pittsburgh bench. Have to be concerned. Looks like a box of one. Let's keep our eye. It looks like Goodson's playing major. Yeah, box of one. Girl on the man. floor, sure was. Hall caught a break there. Seton Hall is a great soccer team. Martin Sally thought he was making a little pass to one of them. Here's Goodson, who is out on major. Bryant. What a look. easy one. A uh, box of one. There's a lot of holes. 16 for Mark Bryant, and Seton Hall has stretched their second half lead to five. Nearly five minutes gone. I think Lane's got to take over. He's on the high post. I think if he gets low, he can do some damage. Inside, broken shot is an air ball. Lane can't get it, goes back and puts it in again. Just throw it up there, let Jerome go after it. I wonder had so many offensive rebounds. Volleyballs it a couple of times before he puts it down. Martin Sally is stripped by Jerome Lane. Three on one, Pittsburgh break. Lane gets the bucket and a foul. What a tough goal. He was caught, hung out 
to drive, but the ability with the left hand to pop it off the palm. But here, the box in one, really a lot of holes. This time, Jerome Lane makes up for it, but right here, he gets caught. And without stepping and walking, able to flip, he can deliver with the left. James Major picking up his second foul, and Jerome Lane, with 16 points now in the game to lead all fifth scorers, has a chance to tie this up. Seventeen for Lane, but more importantly for Panther fans, 15.09 to go, and we are tied at 44. Based on letters received at the Department of Transportation, the airline with one of the lowest passenger complaint records is Piedmont. In a recent poll, the airline rated highest in service was Piedmont. And in another poll, Piedmont service came in second although it wasn't even listed on the ballot, which suggests the greatest service Piedmont performs, serving as role model for all the other airlines. Piedmont, a model of how good an airline can be. He's gonna love it. As long as we're not late for the meeting. This is gonna whiz us right there. Hey, we got a red hot express. We got a red hot express. We got a red hot crew. We got a red hot crew. We got super value rates. We got I love it, but what's it gonna cost? Don't worry, we'll give you a super value rate. Avis, Avis, and I will be selecting the Plymouth player of the game at the conclusion of this quarterfinal game and during every game televised by the Big East Conference Television Network. This year, the Plymouth player of the game has been selected as part of the Chrysler Motor Company's sponsorship of Big East Basketball. There you see the percentages here. 33% shooting second half of Pitt. Seton Hall continues to shoot the ball well. Pat Cavanaugh is into the lineup for the first time. The walk-on guard is going to get a chance to make that entry pass i think is a little bit of why paul evans might have him in there there's a look at jerome lane good assist man pat had eight up at connecticut solid player still the one three or in the old parlance box and one on major good help. pass picked off by cooper goodson looking to run again finds broken uh, gerald green fell down seen all that pretty good balance unfortunately for them gerald green tripped up Pittsburgh has their first lead in the second half with 14.40 to play. Defense has picked up. 1-3 has helped Pitt. And a little more emotion. Sally short with the runner. Lane another rebound. The break to Goodson. Again, he's got Brooklyn if he can find him. Goodson goes himself and draws a foul on the drive. Took advantage. Right now, a little pep in the pit attack. More Follow forceful. Sally. That's it. That's four fouls now on Martin Sally, who joins Charles Smith in severe foul trouble. Sally's going to trot over to the Seton Hall bench and take a seat. Mike Goodson on the line. Goodson at the free throw line. Goodson has had a very solid year for this club. Everybody questioned Pittsburgh at the point before the season started, and Goodson responded to the challenge. He sure has, and of course, a local kid here, Elizabeth, New Jersey, showing his ability and really ran this team. Its biggest lead of the afternoon is three. Inside, Volsi has it slapped away, laying the rebound. P.J. Carlissimo wanted a foul. He didn't get it. Kavanaugh will go to the line. Right now, Joe Green gets the foul, but P.J. upset. It may have been a foul at the one end, but you can just see Pitt revving it up. Tempo and Pro forcing on both ends now, both the defense and the offense, and not a bad look, huh? Jay Lane to Kavanaugh. He yeah, he sure can. Pitt has now scored nine straight points. I was watching the shooting at the end of the half, and this kid got to the foul line. He took a lot of foul shots. You, know, you always have to be ready. Kavanaugh in the game. Paid off. Mm -hmm. Pitt now by five. This defense has caused problems for Seton Hall because they've got three people on the baseline. Seton Hall's trying to go deep. There's going to be shots on the angles. 
can be on both feet, a push off, and all of a sudden, Pitt coming at them. All Evans at last happy with what he sees. We've got a timeout. 13.57 to go in the game. Pitt by five will be back after these local messages. For the man who works the rivers, works the Allegheny, works the Mon, works the Big O. Iron always was, always will be. Pump and iron. Pontiac gives you more buying power than ever. 3.9% financing. Four of the $1,200 cash back. Now, at your Greater Pittsburgh Pontiac dealers, 3.9% GMAC financing. Not just on a few models, but on every hot new Pontiac in stock. Bonneville, Pontiac 6000s, Grand Ann, Sunbirds, everything. Or get cash back at the $1,200 cash back when you buy or lease. Plus the power of GM's new 660 protection. See your Greater Pittsburgh Pontiac dealers now. We're back at Madison Square Garden. Mike Gorman along with Bill Raftery. A five-point Pittsburgh lead at 10-0 run. This was part of it right here. Well, that back line is so big, you can't go over the top. From the point, it's impossible. Green gets tripped up, and you see Brooklyn, just in case there's a seat and hall defender, using that rim to ward off. E.J. Carlissimo trying to get his club to snap out of this slump before it costs him the ball game. Jerome Lane off and running, and now he'll pull it out a little bit, finds Kavanaugh. So he's been juiced up since Charles went out, hasn't he? Brooklyn takes a quick shot, rebound underneath, guess who? Well, Bryant didn't rebound. Now, he may have felt he was pushed, but that's a genius on the offensive glass. 19 now for Jerome Lane. Inside, they find Bryant. Can't get the hook shot off, but draws a foul. Pitt went two, three that time. That was Jerome Lane that's going to be tagged for it. Interesting with Major Rout. Pitt saving that defense. Bryant needs to get these free throws down just to snap this little 12-0 run by Pittsburgh and get a little confidence back to see Bryant. Uh, Seton Hall, in the games I've seen and worked with you, as well as others, they have gotten behind. And, and they're able to get back in it. A pretty tough team. They show a lot of heart. Their problems have been at stretch time. Here a look at P.J. Carlissimo. Seton Hall having their finest year in a long time. Guaranteed of a winning record. Mark Bryant makes them both. Those are the first two free throws Seton Hall has shot in the game, though. Isn't that incredible? And I'm sure P.J. was hollering earlier that that timeout was called by him. Let him know that. Walking foul is going to go on Joe Green as he tried to attack Kavanaugh. Green picking up number three. Quite a few of the Hall players now right on the fringe of being in foul trouble. James Major is going to come back in quickly. Curious to see if Pitt changes the defense now with Major back in. First time for Seton Hall. Long played pretty well in the first two matchups with Pittsburgh. You can see his first action here today. He's a snag. He can get up. A little bit like Lane his ability to get up. How about the steal there, John Morton, the quick hands. Morton now looks to push it the other way. Kicks it out. There's Major. Oh, well, if they can get the open floor, you don't have to worry about that box in one. 18 from Major. Pressure from Hall. Brooklyn having trouble. Elaine has got it. Does he see Goodson? Oh. Yes, he does. Why did Morton just play the dribbler, Mike? That's an old deep thing. If they can recover and stay in the middle, give up an easy one like that. Five-point Pittsburgh lead. That's not to negate the great pass by Lane, either. Should have made it a little harder on him. All looking to skip it across. Major now pulls it back out. Pitt back in the zone, though. Yeah, the two An honest zone. Yeah. They haven't switched back to the box of one. They might if that goes in. Oh. 21 for James Major. Here comes the hall again. 
again, down by two. Mike, what a devastating weapon. It is a oh. pointer. Lifts morale and gets you close. Lane directing a little traffic, gives to Brooken. Brooken takes it in. Nice smoke. Hits. Pull up. Pretty. Four points by Rod Brooken all here in the second half. A little more pizzazz to the game right yes. there. Maybe it's the one o'clock game, huh? You yeah, get the wake-up calls on time. Could be early breakfast. Good play by Brooken. Ramos is right there with him. Brooken draws the foul from Ramos. You can see Ramos laboring. He doesn't have that foot speed in the open floor. And Brooken, not used to dribbling lefty. You'll see him intercept. And at the end of this sequence, watch how he's not as smooth as he normally would be. Now he froze to the right hand. He should have kept it left and was unable to outrace Ramos. a 73% free throw shooter during the Big East season. Freshman has really surprised as the year went on. Big East freshman of the week a couple of times. Got five points here tonight. Came into the ball game averaging 11 in Big East play. Bryant stripped from behind. Jerome Lane got there. Kavanaugh's got it on the break. Finds Brooken. And that's how you freeze the defense. Pat Kavanaugh. But the defense has been setting up those breaks. Seven-point Pittsburgh lead. Nice look. Oh, very nice is right. Ron Ma Ramon. I'll get this right. Ramon Ramos for an easy two. How would you like to work Temple one day and see all the other with Rivas, right? Yes. And Ramos. Tongue twisters. out aggressively on lane. Jerome wants to run the attack out there. He sure does, doesn't he? He usually goes down and screens and they exchange high and low. Maybe it steps, Mike. Goodson, nowhere to go. And he stepped on the end line. That has not happened a lot to Mike Goodson this year, but he got up in the air that time with nowhere to go. Now you see Martin Sally coming back in. Sally's going to play with four fouls. It's interesting, Bill, when you, when you said it, I... Not that I was incredulous, but indeed, Pittsburgh has played much better since Charles Smith went to the bank. I think kids suck it up. They realize, hey, our mainstay is not here. We've got to all pull together, pep it up, and go after it. Ryan's trying to fight through to get position. But they hadn't worked on the other side. Just didn't look for him. Again, Seton Hall not afraid to show a little patience here. They're only down by five and lots of time to go. Better than ten minutes. They've had an excellent inside game. High-low has been beautiful to watch. Down in the corner, John Morton will try, and he got it. See, Morton is a talented kid, Mike. He just has been struggling. He's got to shake the cobwebs for this whole team to be any good. Kavanaugh puts one up and hits it. Confident, in Oh, I guess. He has that air about him. Football gives its own. A freshman walk-on, Pat Kavanaugh. Nice play. Again, the seal inside on Cooper by Bryant. And Ramos looking like a point guard. Now, when you say the seal, explain that to him. Well, he turns, pulls the man off legally, and then steps towards the basket. To the ball. Right. Okay. Keeps him behind him. You can do that in the three-second lane or on the box, forcing him to the corner, as they did that time. Comes out deep to Morton. Major down his favorite spot in the corner. Morton gets a pull-up. And the, the legs, you see, that's the Monroe with him. Earl the Pearl. Not getting back. Great tip away. Cooper rejected by Ramos underneath, but a foul is called, and Mark Bryant's going to pick it up. That's number three on Mark. For Seton uh, Hall, Mark had to get that basketball. Good deflection up on the glass. They are not getting down the floor all night, or all day, I should say, but right here, break for Pitt. Cooper pursuing. So Kiko will go to the line. Pitt was down by three when Charles Smith went to the bench at 1740. Picking up that fourth foul, they're now up by three, 9.36 to play, and they've had that lead up as high as six. I think he'll stay on the bench as long as Pitt maintains the lead. Get as low as he can on that clock. 
First point for Tico Cooper, four-point Pittsburgh lead. Mark what? someone again, Mike, excuse me. Uh, Trying to loop it in, it wasn't there. Cooper got it off quickly, three on one break. Jerome Lane for two. Some hands, too, he fumbled it. But between Brooklyn and Lane, the resurgence of Pitts has happened. 21 points for Jerome Lane, who now is tied with James Major for high in the game. Martin Sally got the bucket and a foul. Tico Cooper's going to pick it up. He reached behind, but Seton Hall exploiting on the baseline. If they're patient, and don't try and throw the home run, look at the little angles you get. It's four against four when they play man-to-man -man on Major. So Cooper picks up number three, nine, ten to play in the game. Again, the Hall a chance to get back to three. Martin Sally, a 6'4 junior out of Levittown, PA. PJ, I know, has told me a couple of times. I said, what does Sally do for you? And he just says everything. He said, I never can take him out of the game because he never makes any mistakes out there. Good play by Kavanaugh. Well, they handle that pressure. They sure did. Well, Sally's a very good defensive player, so he can make up for those offensive mistakes. Working with all nine of his points here in the second half. Bryant takes the runner. He's short with it. Here comes Pittsburgh breaking again. Brooken, the trailer, Goodson, takes the pull up. Got it. Good secondary break, huh? And Ramos has to come out. The pace is tough. Seton Hall buying a little time here, tying a few shoes. Up the hall, big man look a little tired. Now Volts is going to come out. You're right, Ramos is going to go to the bench. That's the difference between Penn, I think, last year and early in the year. They now have a confidence that they can come after people, get a lot of things done. They run the break more efficiently than I've seen them. And, of course, Wayne, some addition on the glass. This may bode well, too, for Paul Evans the rest of this weekend and in the NCAAs is that they've made their comeback with Cooper and Kavanaugh on the floor. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Sally may have gone away with one. Sally keeps it alive. Kavanaugh goes to the floor for it. Who's got it? It's a scrum. Gonna be Pence. Kavanaugh should have got that with his background. <laughs> There's the happy man who works the owl. That's an, easy, that's an easier job than ours. <laughs> Stan gets paid to watch. Brooklyn will inbound. 8.22 now to play in the game. Cooper's going to get the foul. Number four. They try to set up the roadblock and use his arms, extend it. And we are over the limit, so we're going to be shooting some free throws here. Seton Hall. 68% free throw shooting team, Pittsburgh 67, so it's pretty much of a wash. Hey, if Bryant can stay out of foul trouble, Seton Hall has a chance. I think he's a key guy all year long, but tonight they just need a presence underneath and, of course, his shooting ability. And James Major with 16 in the first half, just five here in the second half. They're going to need Major down the stretch. In and out for Sally. Look at Bryant on the boards. Good save. Right back to Martin Sally. The runner won't go. Loose underneath. Whistle. Foul. Going against Sally. That's it, isn't it? It's, it's Sally. It's five. That was one they needed to convert the hall. Very physical sequence that time. So Martin Sally is fouled out of the game, just informed by Jim Howe. Seven points and three rebounds for Martin Sally. P.J. Carlissimo taking all the time he can take under the rules to make this substitution, using a mini timeout over there. Using all 30 seconds. Because he's got Kaim Long up already and in the timeout. He just, as you mentioned, teaches him a little thing or two. So Long will come in. He joins Major, Volsey, Brian, and John Morton on the floor. Lane, Brooken, Cooper, Goodson, and Kavanaugh out there for Pittsburgh. You look at the pit bench, you've got Curtis Aiken, Demetrius Gore, and Charles Smith. Mm -hmm. And they're playing better without them. That tells you something, huh? Zico Cooper knocks home the free throw. Now, if you ask me who Paul Evans would prefer having, it would be those people. Sure. But tournament time, you need some help. 
is the largest lead of the game for Pittsburgh. And it's nine. I tribute, besides the good play of Lane, the box and what? The turnaround. Ty Long comes off the bench by it. He's got his first hoop of the afternoon. Brooklyn shut off on the baseline and brings it back out to Kavanaugh. Good control by Brooklyn, though. Jerome Lane working high, what found a man low. That's their back screen on the box. John Morton tipped away. We've got a foul. It's going to go on Kavanaugh reaching in. The Signals really had their troubles now trying to get it down to the baseline, haven't they? Yes, they are. Got to settle. Kate also in, enjoying a 9-3 advantage on the boards this half, which is more like you would expect out of this Exactly. Point. They usually beat you by 10, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Mark Bryant, though, will step to the free throw line. 17 points a game this year in the Big East and eight rebounds. And Mark, you're going to have to break the news to this guy, but Mark Bryant today has passed Richie Regan on the all-time <laughs> Seton Hall scoring list. you got to tell Is Richie. I'm not going to tell uh, Richie, known for his passing, anyhow. Richie the Cat Regan, former athletic director. The one thing about Seton Hall, and you noted it, they were holding and fixing their shoes. They're a little bit tired, and that shows on the defense, so Pitt's scoring a little bit easier. Seven-point lead for Pittsburgh, seven and a half to play in the game. Tico's happy right now. We'll be back after these local messages. George, you still here? Yeah, teaching a night course. Along with everything else? Got an extra expense. You bought a sports car, huh? <laughs> My youngest started college. I thought you already had one in college. I do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But with teaching at night and doing a little tutoring and getting a loan, we'll do it. The willingness to work a little harder, that's pride in performance. Some people build their lives on it. We built a bank on it. Pittsburgh National. There's something special cooking at Eden Park. Always has been. Madison Square Garden and the Seton Hall Pirates have slipped behind in this one 71-64 the Panthers with a strong second half there's a look at Darrell Walker Darrell not able to play cracked a bone in his left foot he found it out yesterday when they x-rayed so the 6-8 sophomore out of New York City was averaging six points and four rebounds a game not able to participate in the Big East tournament and there you see Pitt 11 turnovers 21 for Seton Hall Gerald Green also playing with a bad ankle. So they've been banged up the last month. And now Pitt starting to assert themselves on the boards. Brooklyn gets it into Cooper. Oh, they... Hall with pressure. Kavanaugh with some daylight. Takes it in. Bryant the block, but score it for Kavanaugh. Are they handling the pressure beautifully? Little fake backcourt by Kavanaugh, then to the ball. And then he ends up in the point. Terrific pass to him, and of course, to finish Brantley. Ramos will take it. Back rims it. Kavanaugh rebound. Boy, he's going to spark off the bench. That pass gets away from him. Now, Lane's not running back. We got five on four. There's Jerome Lane coming into your picture. Evans didn't see him. He would have been all over him. Under seven minutes to go in the game. Nine-point Pittsburgh lead. They're doing a great job defensively. Long. Had it slapped away out of bounds. Seton Hall will keep it. You're wondering why James Major is not being called by Mike Gorman. It's that man-to-man -man and, of course, the other four in a zone. He just can't touch it. Other than it's the inbound. There's Goodson chasing him. Major finally got free and buried it. That's why they're in the boxing run. Just two points, says Jim Howe. And Goodson got caught. 
did not play that very well. 23 for James Major, who leads all scorers. And James Major now has gone over the 1,000-point mark in his career. There's the same play. Brooklyn gets fouled as he goes up. Nice pass from Lane up top. Uh, Ramos is not directing traffic. He's going to have to switch it or help his own man through the pick. Cooper, a big kid, taking up a lot of area on the box. And Paul Evans wisely going to it each time down. Michael Cooper, a 6'5 freshman, is going to see his first action. Kyam Long comes out. And Rod Brooklyn, who has had one outstanding second half, scored all of his 11 points here in the first 13 minutes of the second half. Brooklyn really taking a lot of minutes from Demetrius Gore the latter part of the season. So what they've done is they've got an experienced player in Gore and a youngster who's coming strong. So that should help them. Was hit with a great recruiting class so far. Brian, good look down low. Michael Cooper picks up his first bucket thanks to Mark Bryant with the assist. See all hanging top. They just got to do a better job on the D now. Need a couple of stops here as we are about to go under six minutes in the game. Kavanaugh dumps it off to Lane. Good catch by Lane. Lucky to get that one. Yeah. Gamble by Pat Kavanaugh. Ooh. Elbow? Elbows are high. Have been all afternoon. Pitt now using the shot clock. They're down to 10. Brooken has been the man, and a reach-in foul is called on James Major outside. Major's looking for a travel he's not going to get. Said I didn't touch him. I thought he should have been able to get a steal. He should have timed that. Waited for Brooken to put it on the floor. That's three on James Major. And again, the six, seven freshman. I'll have a chance to add to what is an outstanding second half. Lane with 21 and Brooklyn with 14 have led the way for Pittsburgh. 20 for Mark Bryant, 23 for James Major. One two, uh, Cooper. Yes, it's going to be Pittsburgh ball. Nice call, though. Reaction, not good, because P.J. upset. But those missed free throws, you've got to be poised. Just check your man and then react to the basketball. And Pitt now looking to put a lead into double figures, and that would be the first time today they've been able to get it up that high. Lane with 11 rebounds to go with his 21 points, and John Morton is called for getting a piece of Pat Kavanaugh. Hey, Kavanaugh's a tough kid, though. He knew he had Morton on the side, able to draw the attention of John Morton. But defensively, the hole may be a little bit slower reacting. There's four fouls on John Morton now. Martin Sally already has fouled out of the game. And Kavanaugh, again, the 6'2 walk-on freshman who's a football player, has done a nice job since coming in. Misses that first free throw, but... You know, he looked this way and not towards Evans? <laughs> Gerald Green in, John Morton sits down. Seton Hall, they're going to make a run, going to have to make it soon. Kavanaugh gets the second. Kavanaugh and Brooklyn have been the story in the second half. James made oh, a quick shot. Not good. That was, it's too early. Brooklyn finds Kavanaugh. He Look turns this. back to Goodson, misses the layup. Ramos got the rebound off to Gerald Green. Now, plenty of time. Oh, bad pass again. Bad shot, bad pass. Close time. Kavanaugh, there's huh? the down and out. Brooklyn looking to spin on Ramos. Brooklyn thinks he's hot. Rebound, Cooper puts it back up, draws a foul. What a job Tico's done. Yes, he has. Uh, he really, a lot of good screens down below. Defensively, he's deflected the basketball. He looked over at us. He's got good ears, too. Ramos with his second personal foul, but again, Cooper will step to the free throw line. So one of the major question marks about the Pittsburgh Panthers this year was, hey, how deep a club are they? Well, the second half here, this quarterfinal game in the Big East Tournament, has produced 14 points from Brooklyn, three from Cooper, who will go with a chance here to get a couple more, and seven from Pat Kavanaugh. Touch! And Charles Smith is going to reemerge. 
sat on the bench for 13 minutes with those four fouls. And Jerome Wayne, who has not been making a lot of trips up and down here of late, finally no. gets a rest. Ball with a little parting shot there. Things continue to come up Pittsburgh's way. They have stretched it out to 11. Bryant takes the shot. Good, strong rebound underneath out of bounds. And let's see, it'll be Seton Hall ball. Charles Smith wasn't ready to play then. He got caught behind, may have fouled too. I think Bryant was shocked he was that open. That's the spot against that box. There's only one man up front play the elbows of the foul line. Gerald Green penetrates nicely. Won't get out for him, though. Cooper, another rebound. Green the foul from behind. And that is four now on Gerald Green. And that club is getting big of those in foul trouble for Seton Hall. One shot, two. Yep. Every sequence. Green, one and you're done, right? That's right, Pittsburgh. One and done philosophy. I think that's number five, excuse me. So Gerald Green is gone. Green leaves with two points. Second of the Hall players to foul out here this afternoon. Again, P.J. Carlissimo is using this time as a kind of a mini timeout before mm -hmm. he makes the substitution. Paul Evans chooses to leave his players out on the floor. Well, he's got it going. You don't want to confuse him now, right? It's true. But you know what's uh, happened to Seton Hall? When they pressed, it's ended up a fast break layup at the other end. So, I mean, you're really in tough shape. Yep. P.J. trying to figure out what the heck to do after a score. And, of course, as noted, the miss, they're not getting any follows. See, John Morton has come back in. Morton playing with four fouls. Two for missing. Ramos the rebound. Mark Bryant, a couple of moves. Nice hook shot. Oh. Deep. Oh, they've got to shoot quicker, no question. Nice steal. John Morton got an easy two. Well, the hole went man to man. So there's not that lack of balance if you don't collapse and get back. Again, don't forget the three-point shot, and James Major certainly can throw him in. Now you're going to give it to Brian. That's sort of a nickel-dimer in there. You got four for him? Yes, I do. Mm. So Bryant is playing with four. Morton is playing with four. Uh, Charles hasn't been in the game, so Seton Hall should be ready. Get the hands up. Sometimes you're a little tight with the shot. Charles Smith, eight first half points. Six of those came from the free throw line. So much for that philosophy. Well, yeah, no, but it was a good idea. <laughs> 4.05 left to play. Pittsburgh looking to become the first of the Big East teams to advance to tomorrow's semifinal. Not a Charles Smith type of game, but they're playing on Saturday. He won't care. And of course, all these kids a little tight in the sense that they've never won a game yes. in the tournament. And, uh, I'm sure they've heard that a lot the last couple of days. Brian, there's that move of his again. Well, they've got to call something there, I think, huh? Goodson trying to weave his way through the blue shirts. Good control. Kavanaugh, good penetration. Takes the runner and hits it off the glass. He just winked at Brooklyn as much as to say, you know, let me clear out for me. Mark Bryant looking to answer. Won't go down. Ramos goes after the rebound. And we've got a timeout called. First timeout down in the baseline. 326 left to play in the game. 83-74. Piedmont Airlines presents a phone number so valuable, you'll never forgive yourself if you don't write it down. Pen. This is Which the number that'll get you airfares so low you'll find them hard to believe. Pen. And you'll also get Piedmont service that's been rated among the best in the industry. So call Piedmont today. I got it. What could be simpler? 
Is this one of them Japanese imports? Hi, Colt Premier. Mitsubishi built Colt Premier. It's fun to drive. Oh, Tomashina. Has the boost of optional turbo. It's luxurious. And imported only for Chrysler Plymouth and Dodge dealers. Colt. Sayonara. It's all the Japanese you need to know. Is that Japanese? It's Tokyo in Japan. Huh? And welcome back once again, everybody, to Madison Square Garden. 326 left to play here in the first quarterfinal game of the afternoon of the 1987 Big East Tournament. And Pittsburgh right now appears ready to advance. 83-74, they lead by nine. And our player of the game, our Plymouth player of the game, we're going to give it to the freshman, Rod Brooken, who came in in the second half and scored 14 points after Pittsburgh was down by one at the half. Strong game for Brooken. Sure was. And again, they've got three minutes and change to go, so they've got to be careful. Or we may have to change that well we can it's allowed it's allowed <laughs> but uh seat in the hall hasn't been able to get much out of the press other than the morton steel but they've gone man to man so they're not gambling as much ramos trying to stay up with jerome lane and that's yeah. a mismatch and ramos commits a foul from behind that's almost unfair you know ramos the bad ankle a lumbering type and lane just able to do so many things with the basketball that right leg of Ramones is really wrapped up between the knee and the ankle. The ankle's the real problem, according to the coaches. The nation's leading rebound misses the free throw. Lots of time here for the Hall. They hit a three-pointer or two. Still that one-three with a man-to-man -man on Major. Major trying to get free. Goodson right there with him. Morton will try and hit. Patience, they've been able to get exactly what they would like. John Morton hits for two. Jerome Lane is going to back it out now. Pitt would be well advised to use the shot clock. Morton is a perfect five and five in this game. Smith down low, powers it up, won't get down, but he draws a foul. They're going to give that to Bryant, I believe. Yep. Ooh. That really hurts. That really does hurt. But PJ's had a ton of timeouts because of the foul problems. France Volti will have to come back in, but Mark Bryant, 12 points in the first half, 12 in the second, fouls out the 6'9 junior sitting down. An outstanding effort for Bryant, leaving again with 24. He showed his ability, I think. Yes. And defensively, it's tough if they keep going after you. And he's down there either playing Lane or Smith, and that's the name of the game for Paul Evans. That's one thing he's installed since he's taken over at Pitt. Seven rebounds and a couple of blocks fill out the line on Mark Bryant, but now Charles Smith, also playing with four fouls, will step to the free throw line. Smith, a non-factor here in the second half, mostly because he spent about 14 minutes on the bench with those four fouls. Now you can honestly say, Mike, that this Pitt team approaches the game as wanting to win. I'm not so sure. In other words, if I have a bad game and we win, that's all that counts. That's the way it seems lately. Yeah. What you want, right? No, I'm not so sure they felt that way all the time. 11 now for Smith, again, who has spent the better part of his offensive afternoon on the free throw line. Volsey clears away the miss. Eight-point lead. James Major up quickly. Double dribble, I thought, huh? Kavanaugh heading the other way on the break. Leans the trailer. Kavanaugh got two. Boy, Kavanaugh has scored 11 points in the second half off the bench. All left hand all the way. Pretty. Pittsburgh bench has really come through in the second half. That's the spot. I mean, you got one guy playing two out there. First bucket for Volsey. Brooklyn looking to make his way across the 10-second line. Cooper up defensively. I see the Hall has to work hard in the D and force a tough shot, and then rebound. Morton out on Kavanaugh. Lane. Nah, gamble bad, huh? Franz Volsey. Yep. Franz out there, just giving the foul almost. That's number four on Volsey. Followed by Franz Volsey. 
And you look up at that scoreboard, Bill, 154 to go. Pitts got 86 points on the board. They only had 35 at the half. It didn't look like they'd have 20 there for a while in the first half, did it? Working on a 51-point second half here. Uh, Jerome's got to improve that free throw shooting, I think, during the tournament. He's going to be on that line quite a bit. Got himself 23 on the afternoon. 88-78, a 10-point Pittsburgh lead, major. And stumbled with it. Cooper launched one from the corner. Brooke in the rebound. Kavanaugh looking to push it up. Kicks it off to Lane. And Volsey immediately with the foul, and I believe that's five on front. And his head not in it the last two times, so he just gave them away to stop the clock. Sure did. Volsey fouls out with two points. This is P.J.'s fourth unofficial timeout. It's the fourth player who's fouled out. So the Hall is running down the end of the bench. Tyam Long is going to come back in. They start the 30-second clock. Tough. I mean, they did have an interesting game plan and worked it to perfection the first half, Seton Hall. Yeah, they really did. They played very, very well. I think the spark was Charles Smith going for the Pines. Yep. Good call, too, at the time. So the first winning season for the Hall in a few years. Seton Hall, pretty good chance of going to the NIT, I would say. Yeah, I hope so. I think P.J. deserves it. His recruiting has started to show. Kids gave a lot of tough outings because of him. They will finish the year 15 and 13 should the results hold here. Jerome Lane is back at the free throw line. 139 to play, 10-point game. Of course, this game against the tough pit team, they pounded it inside and had all the opportunities. Boy, that's deep. Ooh, that was real deep, wasn't it? That was an NBA three. Ooh. I think back to Major taking that quick one with five and change, then they came out and had a turnover. Yeah. It uh, really took the air out of Seton Hall. And Ramos immediately with the foul on Charles Smith. Ramos now with four. That's the record of foul and players out of the oh, biggest tournament game. Oh, right. I don't know, I'm sure they're closing in That's on it. Four first foul. Some of the subs and see all looking and hoping they might get a shot down there. Charles Smith this time will take a turn at the stripe. So Pittsburgh apparently ready to advance into Saturday semifinals. They will face the winner of the Syracuse Villanova game, which will be coming up just about 20 minutes from the conclusion of this one. Within himself, too. Uh, he came back in, didn't try and get a lot of points in a hurry. Discarded, got fouled on this end, made some. 13 points, 11 from the line. Morton spinning his way in, throws up a runner. They got oh, be called outside. I guess they got Lane, huh? Yeah, Jerome. Followed by Jerome Lane. Just a second Lane. foul on Jerome Lane, who doesn't and get himself in any foul trouble, which is surprising considering how active he is down in the paint. Jerome liked to dialogue with his teammates. You know, uh, it looks like Charles Smith said, what are you doing out there anyhow? You're supposed to be in the back. He always seems to have an answer for them. How about this little stat? Team fouls in the game. Pittsburgh, 13. Seton Hall, 31. Mm. And we're at the half. 10 free throws to zero for Seton Hall. And usually... It's a sign of going inside, but more so, I think, defensively, Seton Hall a little tired and fouling, getting there late. A little violation. Pittsburgh able to, unable to get the ball in. Hall's going to get it back, trailing by 10, 124 to play. Looking for the three. Comes out to Cooper. Goodson still following Major everywhere he goes, and Morton picks up a foul. Kavanaugh trying to make sure they don't get the three, then road Morton as he bounced, but uh, a timeout by Pitt now, the one, the three, and then the man-to-man. -man. The We've factor that turned this game around, Mike. We've got 118 left to play. Pittsburgh is up by 10, 90 to 80, looking to advance.
I'm Jimmy Connors, and it's about time you met my partner, my financial side. All successful people and companies have a financial side. Let's go, partner. But to really be a winning team, you might need Whoa. some help. We need some help. You need Payne Weber behind you for financial expertise, sound advice. We believe the quality of life just might depend on the quality of your financial services. Thank you, Payne Weber. You're awfully stiff. You've got to loosen up a little bit. Is this one of them Japanese imports? Hi, Colt Premier. Mitsubishi built Colt Premier. It's fun to drive. Oh, Commissioner. Has the boost of optional turbo. It's luxurious. And imported only for Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge dealers. Colt. It's all the Japanese you need to know. Is that Japanese? It's Tokyo in Japan. Huh? We are back at Madison Square Garden for the final... <laughs> Excuse me, folks. 78 seconds of this one, 90 to 80 Pittsburgh by 10, and Paul Evans will indeed advance, it would appear, now into Saturday's semifinal. Again, to play the winner of Syracuse and Villanova, coming up in just about a half hour. At the line, John Morton. Morton knocks down the free throw. St. Hall needs some steals on the press, Mike. And quickly. Mm -hmm. They've used the clock well, Seton Hall. Going for the steal and then giving it away. Just hope they don't run out of people. Here's the first trap. New Goodson get out of there. It's tipped away from behind by Cooper. All the hall players are pointing the other way. Jim Howell, no. Tim Higgins says it's going to be Pittsburgh ball. Good coordination there. Jim Kinsey hidden from the play. P.J. wanted to curl on the trap. Kavanaugh moves around Morton. That's a giveaway by Long. Second foul on Kyam Long. And Seton Hall has now set a tournament record and would like to welcome the stations joining us here. We are at the end of quarterfinal game number one, Pittsburgh apparently going to advance 90 to 82 the score with 107 still to play Kavanaugh gets them just a little bit closer to Saturday action Mike Gorman along with Bill Rafter coming up Syracuse and Villanova in game number two and Kavanaugh with 13 points off the bench all in the second half and only getting two the rest of the year that's amazing isn't it bad pass Brooking the steal, Kavanaugh gives it back nicely. Turnaround fair play, 16 for Rod Brooken, and Rod Brooken has scored all 16 of his in the second half. Major can't get it up, and Jerome Lane is going to be called at the foul over the top. Major, who played so well in the first half, just not able to get free trying to force shots to get on the scoreboard. They do have to shoot and score quickly. Michael Goodson has done a fine job in that box and one defense of preventing James Major from getting his shot. Kyam Long is going to go to the free throw line, a 6'7 sophomore out of the Bronx. Picks up his third point of the afternoon. You know, if you talked to P.J. before the game and told him he was going to score 83 points, I'm sure he would have felt pretty good. I figured he would win it. Yeah. But the Brooklyn and Kavanaugh combination just devastating. And who would have thought that? There's Brooklyn again on the break for two more. Boy, they have gone through the pressure like it's not there, Bill. They have. The only thing that Seton Hall did that was effective was man-to-man, -man, but now they've got to gamble completely with traps and everything else. Pittsburgh has made 33 free throws in this game, which ties a tournament record. Kavanaugh loves to go to the baseball pass or football pass. Look, there it is. Brooklyn going to the hoop one more time, misses the dunk. Jim Howe slow to make this call. Yeah, Brooklyn. he was. I think he got Brooklyn for the charge, Yes, no? he did. Rod Brooken picks it up. Just his second foul. That's his second personal foul. 
And Paul Evans is not going to be too upset with that aggressiveness. Pittsburgh, I think, even though the coaching staff wouldn't be rooting for this, there's a lot of guys on the bench trying to get him to hit 100 here in this ball game. I think Brooklyn uh, didn't make a wise move going to the hole. I think that's what Paul was upset more. You know, keep it out. Wide charge. And of course, a lesson each time you're out there to be learned. And then Paul Evans going to his bench. Billy Osborne is going to check in. And Pat Kavanaugh gets a great smile and pat on the back from Paul Evans as he sits down. At the line, tie him long again. 85 points for Seton Hall, but they're going to come up short. Marlon Ferguson is going to check in the ball game, and Rod Brooken goes out. Excellent game by those two, and that's why Paul Evans replaced them. Let them be recognized. Of course, Ferguson ineligible the first semester, and uh, a fan called Paul's radio show to say, would you take him back? He said, hey, I don't go after players. If he wants to play, let him come see me. Nice play by Ramos to keep it in. Here comes Morton the other way. John between the legs, throws it up. And some vintage John Morton right there. It sure was. I hope he gets straightened out for next year. He's got a lot of ability. Good with the basketball. Just his judgment at times has to be questioned. Four seconds left in the game. Pittsburgh by 10. John Morton is going to get a chance to cut that down a little bit, but the Pitt Panthers don't really care now as they are set to advance. Pittsburgh winning their 24th game of the season. That'll make them 24 and 6. And they'll be back out here tomorrow afternoon. Hey, uh, one thing that Seton Hall did, MPJ, they had Paul Evans thinking over there. And they had some difficult times. And, of course, Paul, I believe, reacting with that bad pass here. Morton, another steal. They got a foul on Charles Smith. At the buzzer. That would foul him out, but I think they're going to let that one go. Final score here from Madison Square Garden is P.J. Carlissimo and Paul Evans shake hands. The Pittsburgh Panthers, 96. The Seton Hall Pirates, 88. We'll be back after these local messages.